Hello, hello, and welcome you all, and let's have some fun with jolly old Aeronorth. So, last time, well, where did I leave off last time? Our fine lady Zephyr, she's uh, level 3, on her way to level 4. Got me some learning points left off, and, uh, well... We gotta see how that'll go down, alrighty. So, I got a pretty, uh control heavy yet damage low <laughs> build so far or that's what i actively remember hmm. so let's see forgotten tomb lawn marie yeah oh, oh no now i remember why i why i didn't like the area here so much because i had severe ley line aversions against my damage types um yeah mirai's treasure also not looking too nicely is there anything we can go for? Lan Marie Plains, that's what I've been looking for, I think. Yeah, let's try that out. Probably that's going to serve me best so far. So, let's see. Let's heal ourselves. Doesn't sound like healing, but don't you worry. It's just fine healing. Kudo! So, hello there, you thugs. So, nobody is truly resistant against the stuff that I'm doing here. We have one dude lock-trapping me, but nobody wants to attack me. It's actually quite a good situation to start with. So let's burn that dude. And, yeah. Oof. Do I have some... wetting effect? No. Damn. Well, looks like it's time for the Aeromancer's Ring. Alright, Breeze. Sadly, no effects to uh, to power up my spells. Yuki, hi there. Happy to see you. So, let's see. Can we stun that logger? Yes, we can. Nice. So, let's use Scout Ahead to make that jolt less costy. Yeah, thank you. Damn. Well, then we'll have to force him into concealment. Some persisting damage for you, my friend. And let's see. There we go. Don't like it when they go concealed, but what can I do? Okay. That's always nice to have this lady here on my side, actually. And here we go. There's a wet spell. Damn. That comes a little bit late. Anyways, I'll hopefully be able... Yeah, just a okay, bit. Concealment eats my damage. Wolf. Well. Let's craft ourselves one card. That's a little bit of overkill, but I'm low on action points, so... Why did that deal damage? Ah, good old, good old Aeronorf questions. Why did that work again? Oh, a skeleton key. Brilliant. Let's give myself some more defense. Da. Pariah. Oh, yeah. They, uh... Enjoy. I mean, I, I did enjoy myself with Pariah a lot. But I, at the end of this, uh, of, my, I, of my trip there, I came to the conclusion that I'm not ready for that yet. I didn't like the uh, extremely slowed down pace of the game there. Because I obviously am missing a point with uh, deck building there still, but we get in there. So, Ring of Firebolts, Topaz Amulet. Okay. Sadly, I'm not no Hydromancer, but that's actually a pretty powerful item. Even comes with a draw card. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sell me that. Masterwork Sage's Robe. Next to... Sure. But I gotta say, 13 defense... It's quite a lot. But, well... Hmm... Well, yeah... Actually, now that I think more closely about it, I'm sold. Thank you. And an armor schematic? Yes. As far as I can remember, with these schematics, I'm also going to be able to upgrade my items. That's why I'm not using them yet. So, hey, another learning point. Here we go, that's a good reason to pump up the research spell uh, skill. And, uh, well, 
Oh, that's something I have to wear. Darned. I thought that was something that I could put into my pocket. Alright. Damn. That's a bit tragic. But whatever. That thing is just, uh, you know... Right now, the defense is a little bit crappy. But, uh... That's just, uh... Or, wait a sec, what does fully upgraded mean, actually? Does that mean if I pump in some more uh, thingies there? So. Sorry, got to change, got to change my, my, my got to ch uh, choose my food here. So, ah, here, the morph. Thank you, Yuki, thank you. So, well, that's a good reason to pump uh, research all the way up to five. Why not? I mean, it's certainly stronger than, uh, than what I got before. This is terrible. It's certainly better than the armor I had before, so... Let's work with that. I mean, I'm personally not a big fan of these uh, Your Next Action Gains uh, XP stuff, but... Well, with a spell like, uh, like Magic... Threats, for example, it's it's worth it because that thing can can level insanely far. So I'm using this to bring up the electrostatic shield. Let's uh, soak that dude. And of course, now I don't have any uh, any spells at my disposal to um, utilize that wet effect. Always like that. <laughs> Well, the Sun Talisman, that's something that I really gotta get rid of in the long run. Because it's clearly foreseeable that uh, this ain't the, the best idea. We're not going to gossip that lady. No. Not willing to pay money for that. Sorry to tell you that. Here we go. That's mostly because I'm so darn broke. Sick. All right. So wins embrace. Um. Yeah. So. Ugh. I don't know. It's. It's a fun thing, you know. If you let it expire, though, you lose action points. That sucks a bit. Maeve's acidic orb. Corlan's flaming arrow. So, well, I'm going to stash this spell, mostly because it's the most uh, valuable thing out of the cho uh, chosen items, so we're going to do that. Alrighty, nice. Let's see. Anybody stun-resistant here? No. But this guy is resistant against uh, being wet. Alright. So... Let's see. This guy wants to steal from me, the other dudes want to attack me. So we're probably best off with taking down the attack intentions first. Usual, usual rules of engagement apply. Let's see. Jeez, it's uh... It's Stun's Day. Totally stuns they. Alrighty, so we're going to zap that dude and, uh, well. I'm down. I'm already on fatigue, so I'm actually going to toss away the curiosity to gain myself some more action points, and we ride it. That's okay. There we go. So. Let's see. Extra damage. So there we go. This guy is trying to take cover and all. Let's see. Can I stun that dude? Hell yeah. Great. So, scout ahead. And uh, it's random damage on the electrostatic shield. Yeah, whatever. Oof. Burn always nice to use burn against people that have 
stupid amounts of uh, defense on them. Conduit. Well, er, no. Oh, if you discard it, it deals damage. I love these spells. Seriously, they are so fun. Alright, you're taking my money, don't you? You'll pay for this insolence. Well, what next? Uh, Sage's Rope, Magic Threads, Aeromancer's Ring, Lightning. Wet doesn't work, right? Bye. So, the accused hermit. Well, as you pass through a small settlement, so we're going to protect that poor, uh, poor soul here. Take down the Inquisition or get taken down by the Inquisition. We'll see about that. Um, yeah, well done. All right. So they got four people trying to attack me. Jeez, that's a lot. So now we don't have any stuns at our disposal, of course. That would have been too easy, no? So let's use Scout Ahead to get ourselves some more options. Rain. Hmm. Neat. It's quite costly, though. But this is a horrible turn right now. I have basically nothing available to uh, really dish out a lot of damage. My action points are super low already. I don't have any uh, bigger stuns available. My deck's trolling me super hard right now. So, what can you do if uh, life uh, treats you like that? Munch a lizard. So, let's see. The Frost Ray Wand will help us too. Except for that, we don't have anything else, eh? So, yum yum. This thing is uh, targeted damage. So, gosh, what a horrible hand. Jeez. It's like... Nothing is here to work with. Wouldn't be too surprised if I die that turn out, right? Alright. Eh, 27 damage. Yuck. So we have four people attacking and uh well at least at least some more damage dealing things here. So this guy's action is already averted. Let's use Mist to make things more powerful. Another dude brought to reason. I'm out of action points. Damn. So we can weaken people with that uh, spell, though. Definitely gonna use that. And uh, bring up the defenses one more time. So totally we'll soak up that blow. Well, looking not that bad. That last one smack, but I'm okay. Yeah, Pariah is a uh, huge jump, that's true. So, we have, again, four attackers. Where are all my stuns at? <laughs> Here's one. At least something. So, this guy is a goner. What's that? Healing and cooldown, alright. So, we're going to stun that dude. We're going to convince that dude. So. Level up. That's a very, very uh, pleasant uh, thing to hear at this point. Thank you. Alright, so, uh, Elemental Servant, still mined. Well, everything restoring AP, restoring more AP is always amazing. Energetic. Fatigue comes slower. I love that. The Elemental Servants are also pretty cool. Beguiling. Well, that ain't interesting. More magic threats. Sure. Tethys' Tears. That's more Hydromancy. Determined. Well, it's a sick stat boost, though. 
Er, well, cautious. Clever is also pretty interesting, but we're not rocking too many intuition items. So, well. Hmm. Well, well. I'm going to go for energetic, because that uh, fatigue comes slower perk is extremely valuable in my book. It's just like, you know, when fatigue comes slower, you can turn out more spells per turn, and I personally think that's... Uh, Mages suffer from fatigue much faster than most other classes that have been playing around there. Okay, the best thing about the uh, level up was that we got ourselves new action points. But the situation ain't that bad either. I mean... Ah, come on. Although... Yeah, well, Conduit ain't that super bad now that I look more closely at it. So, let's see. Give herself some defense. Okay. So, gotta finish off that uh, bunch quite soon before there's going to be more reinforcements. So, let's use the strain reduction for the electrostatic shield. I love this thing because it just does the same thing for several turns. It's pretty powerful. And, uh, let's burn that dude. Oh, he's, uh, he needs a little bit of extra treatment there. Just want to make sure that he's not going to make it another turn. Thread of air. Oh, yeah. So many stuns, darned. Alright. Whatever. I think that should be enough to not uh, provoke any reinforcements there. Yeah, we're just in time. Right on. So, magic threats, but only after the Sage's Rope. And we're finishing him off here with some generics, so... Why should I uh, finish off the Inquisitor? I'm not such a person. Let's pick up these items instead, and uh, the we gain some karma from the Hermit. Some people now might deem me a criminal. Hey, Bella, welcome. Yeah, it's Deck Builder Friday, you know. It's always like that on over here. So, let's see. Brain. Can I cheapen that? Oh, yeah. Gotta say that Scout Ahead thing really paid off in the long run. And I like Rain. Rain is really, really cool. That spell is... With its uh, AoE vulnerability application, really, really cool. That's, that's pretty powerful. I mean, the Sun Talisman is now less and less effective. I mean, it's a, it's been from the from the beginning, it's been a workaround. You know. So, probably could get myself some more Threat of Air spells into my deck. I think that could be extremely helpful. There we go. So, let's weaken that dude even further. Yeah. I wasn't able to convince him to... Uh... Oh, I was able to convince him because of this spell. I keep forgetting that these uh, electrocute spells, they... they produce lingering damage. So this guy is actually dying off of that. That would be cool to see that, actually. Whatever. So, Mist, to amplify my spells. Electrocute on that dude. Just because it's fun. Let's get rid of that dude. Let's put another bucket of water on him. And this dude will die, right? No, it won't. So. There we go. Now he'll die. Alrighty. Gust of Wind. Oh, hell yeah. That's uh, one hell of a spell there. It's multicast, so if we combine that with any amplifiers... Let's see if the Aeromancer's Ring just provides some... Oh, whatever. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Whatever. This is terrible. 
You think? I don't think so. So, immunities against vulnerability. That sucks a bit, but everything else is okay. No lightning or water resistances. So, there we go. So. Oh yeah, here. Channel lightning. That's exactly what I wanted to have there. So first off, we're going to go for a channel lightning, and then let's go for a gust of wind. Which will be... Uh, multiply enhanced by the synergy. I wasn't too impressive though. I I ima in my imagination that was a lot more oofy, but whatever. Another channel lightning. Stop nibbling on me. I don't like when you nibble on me. So we gotta bring up this and let's say some wet effect for that dude because vulnerability rocks and well, get herself some defense there oh boy i have no clue where that retrib retribution came from but it's okay where do i get my stats from damn sometimes this game it's just too complicated um yeah well we're going to ignite that dude in the back line, why not? And, well, I want to get rid of this dude. Stuns are going to be applied at the end of the turn, though. So that's just smarter to do so. The Aromancer's Ring has some sick defense by now. Look at that, defend 8. That's pretty much. So, Zap. Static bomb. You dare to? Naughty little critter. So, let's see. This guy can bleed, so we're applying that on him. We're going to reapply re that. And we're going to try to stun that dude. Doing our best here. But, well. It's okay. Taking a low amount of damage ain't the... Ain't any problem whatsoever, so... Mist, Strain Reduction, Conduit, I love spells that do something when you discard them. Uh, they are just, uh, they are just the best, you know. There we go. So, looks like we're uh, really powerful enough at that point. Frost Mage's Cowl. Well, draw two cards, gain four intense damage. Well, I'm sold. Hell yeah. That's pretty much. That's massive. That's really massive. A, uh, a a item that gives me two cards per turn for just two mana, or action points. That's uh, that's pretty big, especially since it's intensifying the next action too. So it's also a damage amplifier, and uh, well, sadly it doesn't get more tasty the higher the level grows. And electrostatic bolt. Well, it's okay. It's okay. Quite high base damage. The vulnerability part is also quite tasty. Let's pick that up for now. So. There we go. And I haven't had a uh, cloak yet at all. It's getting better and better. Right on. So, let's see. Who are the... Which are the spells that I hate most right now? So... <clears throat> We're going to uh, to car cut out Ice Arrow. As cool as the bleed might be, the damage of that spell is just so effing low. I don't, I, I can't stand it. We're going to pick up Ice Ball. That's a nice alternative. I need some alternating damage types to Lightning, you know. And Water is the next best thing. So there's another Static Bolt. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I need a new amulet too. That's one thing that I also noticed. I really, really want a new amulet. So we got electric jolt. Lightning strike. Well, how much damage does that thing reach? Oh boy, that's a big amplifier too. Alright. Let's pick him up. It's a little bit costly, but you know, we're getting more and more preparation spells. So, 
I think it should be okay. Here, I want to make sure that these things don't show up in my backpack because they are just not useful in these situations. There we go. Good, good. So I'm level 4 now. And, uh, well, I don't want to go for these one shot dungeons due to the, uh, um, ley line aversions there. That's just, um, uh, Protect Duke Harmond. I don't know. I don't feel like that powerful. Overall, this feels like one of the least powerful characters that I've played so far. Griesbach, well, no. Galdorax Lair, hell yeah, look at that. We're going to go on over to Nereus. But first... Well, I ain't got enough money for, for rations, so... I could sell stuff, duh. Whatever. Nomad Camp. Okay. Not really interested, but whatever. Hey ho, what's up, dudes? So now we can use that thing at the beginning of each fight to get ourselves even more cards in our hand. I like that. There we go. Electrostatic shield might be darned costly. Oh, uh, that was the wrong <laughs> turning order. Whoopsie. But at the same time, it's just... Um, I love that spell. So... There we go. That's enough for one turn. Why did the Electrostatic Shield expire now, though? This should last several turns. Where did it go? Hmm. Oh, that was the most horrible turn order I, I could pull off. If I would have used the Wet spell first, the Rays of Frost would have killed him off. Whatever. I, I wanted to play my, uh, my, my new cape a little bit more anyways, didn't I? So, a Belt Pout. A coin pouch. Let's pick that up. I'm low on money anyways. Yay! There we go. So, that's going to be stupidly easy now. I'm well aware of that. But, uh... So... <clears throat> Action loses an echo counter and is played again on the same target. Ah, here we go. So, I have to put that... Electrostatic shield on somebody who's not going to die immediately. Got it. So it's more like that. And now I'm not supposed to kill off that guy. Because otherwise the electrostatic shield will expire. Not the least little bit complicated, luckily. Alrighty, we got lightning strike, but that's uh let's see. Let's burn that dude. We got this guy left. So No, it's played on my character, so why the hell did it expire the last time? Oh well, whatever. It's uh, no use pondering about that at this point. I don't think it's uh, easily understandable. So Go. Oh yeah, I won't play any further cards because I was already on fatigue, and uh, you know, while your character is on a fatigue, it's easy to expend all your action points, and that's never a healthy spot to be at, even if you could be technically playing all those cards. So let's use this. I think I can now remove curiosity entirely out of my deck because that. Uh, Cloak of Mine is basically taking, uh, overtaking the same job, just more effectively, because it's always available. So, let's see. Anybody wit? 
So here we go. Eh. Electrocute that dude. Do I have more cod crafting? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, conduit. Zap. It's one of them spells I'm always happy to uh, to craft me one. So there's one dude left. We're going to put up some defense against him. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep that rain for the next fight. It's uh, not really a, a good thing to go for. We're... So... So we got some ammo for the next fight. Do I have some preparation spell? Erp, no. Okay. So we can use the burn effect on the people who aren't uh, who aren't uh, wet. That's why I personally think that this uh, is just no longer a thing for my deck because you know. So electrostatic bolt being super powerful because wet enemy and a wind punch let's punch that dude quick draw Ugh. I don't know I would get my weapons up again if I'd use that so wow I got my staff again it's not that impressive isn't it so we're already on pretty high fatigue, and uh, I don't know. Let's slap out one stun here. There we go. I was probably already a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but whatever. Hey, El Azel, welcome. So happy to see you, man. So, let's see. Three people attacking me, and my action point count is rather low. Let's uh, toss away the curiosity. Get herself some strain reduction. Rust Caldad. And what do we do next? I got such few ways to hurt these people. You are a goner. So this guy is going to get zapped to by the electrocute. So that's another thing. So electrocute can be only on one person. I cannot apply several instances of that. Gotta know that as well, you know? Yeah, whatever. I might be not able to kill them off this turn, but I can't discard this card. This sucks. <laughs> uh, nah, I don't like Wind's Embrace. Um, I might be not able to stun them, but the weakness due to the wet effect is also pretty majestic, I think. So, Frost Rays for you, an Ice Ball for you, Electric Jolts for you, there we go. A little bit low on action points though. I would, I, I could really use some, some action point replenisher here. Yeah, well, if they survive with 1 HP, it just, uh, you just gotta plow through with it, you know. So, Galdorak, wise woman. This is, uh, is this the boss encounter? Doesn't look too bossy, but whatever. So, mist. So we get some nice amplification. We don't have any water effects there. Let's start with a nice lightning strike. Followed up by a zap. Let's start to jump on over to the next dude, because it's killing somebody. And, uh, well, let's... Light that lady up. Electrocute some. There we go. I don't want no feeble mind on me. Shoo shoo. Oh my god. Yeah, that's true, El Hazel. That's true. I'm um, already looking for more um, cost reducers here. Because that's one uh, one side of my uh, of my mages that. I haven't played correctly in the past. I feel like that's where I can improve on a lot. 
like these strain reducers, they are so important, you know, they're stuff like the magic threats here. There we go. Strain reducers are just so darned important. We're going to remove now the curiosity out of the deck, though. I don't need that anymore. Yes, it's nice to have a card I can discard to gain two, um, two action points from, but I'm pretty sure I can get that from other sources even better. Well, I didn't use it. I I gotta admit, I, d I wasn't paying too much attention to this one. This is a level one, two, one or two uh, dungeon, and the fights are really, really not that uh, hard there. Don't know which uh, cost reducer I didn't catch there, but I gotta admit, I wasn't trying too hard either. <laughs> Aromancer's Robe. All right, that's actually even better than the one that I bought just a moment ago <clears throat> doesn't matter this is amazing this is a good item it gives me a free card per turn it's really free and uh well it gives me some lightning resistance but chain 50 person that's uh pretty it's pretty cool whoops er. so here has a chance to also damage a random enemy so basically is uh this robe gives me a chance to double my first spell each turn. And this one, yeah, well, it has a pretty nice defense rating, but... Uh, a free card more per turn? Mm, I'm sold. So... Well, that entire XP thing is... Uh, I hate it. Like, uh, I gotta admit, the um, the way COD XP works in this game is uh, too micromanagement uh, heavy, you know. So, yeah, I'll just refill that Wand of Sparks, why not? Erudition. Like, the COD XP things are only cool for a very, very low amount of, uh, of things there, and uh, I don't know. There's just not enough... Oh, come on. Why, why so many lightning-hating uh, uh, dungeons here? Damn. So, yeah, more aversion against my stuff. I should probably go to the sea or some or entirely some somewhere else. They don't like people like me here. So, Misthold. There, that's where we gotta go. Misthold. Well, okay. Partially. <laughs> <laughs> There's also ah these ley line aversions they're killing me especially since uh, lightning and water always uh, come as a as a uh, as a team as it seems and therefore well is it it is eh birdwood mm, yeah well we could go for these quests but I probably won't tower of elements cool. I'm part of their organization. So, well. Sucks to be me, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah, Inford. That was the best point to go for. But the other dungeons there, they sucked too. No, that's not what I mean, Alazel. I think, I feel like there's a... There's just not enough you can do with it. The cards, they level up so darn fast that the XP gainers are almost not worth it. Like, for example here, or Jolly Old Fellow Wind Punch here. It takes so long until you get cards that are actually worth to pump that XP gain thing in. You know? It just takes so effing long. In the long run, I do think the XP gain is great on the higher difficulty levels where you can pump up your spells much, much faster than a regular character could do. Yes, okay, I see that. But in general, when I have a spell that only has one or two levels that it can gain, that's too much micromanagement for my taste. I just keep spamming it until it's done, because my my brain will, will 
will be fried uh, by the attempt to oh, erase people. They don't want to trade with me. Damn. Because my brain will be fried by the time I'm... Uh, I'm trying to micromanage all that. So they don't like me here either. Must be my low order rating. So... Yeah, well, we're going to... We're going to gather food here. So... We're trying to. Hello, dear Kralven people. The whole um, it was like the 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 leveling system. At first, I was like, "Wow, that's cool!" And then, when I saw how limited it is, I felt very, very disappointed with it. You know, that was my personal depression with the whole system. And this will be one hell of a nasty. Uh, one hell of a nasty turn there. So I can stun my somebody if I'm lucky. Of course they resist. <laughs> Just my luck. So we're going to burst one of them at least. Uh, burst you out of your aggressive intentions. Well, that went a bit farther than I wanted to, but whatever. Like I, I wish that the, those cards would be generally a little bit, uh, a little bit further levelable, especially the early spells. That would be amazing. I'd be also down that I'd be, uh, for example, have to invest money first to give them another level to upgrade. For that, that would be pretty cool, because I still end up with not enough uh, things to do with my money. Because yes, I can now spend money to level up cards. Here for this character, I have a, I even have some spells that are worth it, but at the same moment, I don't feel like it's worth it enough, so to say. So, uh, yeah. Can I walk now? No, I can't, right? So... I just want to find some food. So I... I cannot do anything now? Except for forced marching. I never had that before. Alright. Forced marching it is. Whoa. I'm, I'm losing strong. HP at a terribly uh, high rate there. And I start this fight with no action points. Yeah, sure. So, time for the jolly old restart button. I don't like this. I really don't like this. It's a silly way to drive me out of the game. There were no cities around that were selling rations. I literally had no choice than to do this. Some things are still really, really weird on the in terms of the overworld map here. So finally my character got himself some rations. I don't know. I find this one super weird thing. Don't know if I'm just stupid or, or what's the case. But I mean, when you're playing Pariah and the like, rations grow even more of a problem. And, uh, well, while I, I do see the intention behind it, it's a lot of fun. It's like, yeah, alright, I tried what I could. I still died. Okay. Hey there, Thread of Water. I might be not uh, high enough on Hydromancy yet, but I will. And uh, we're going to do this. This even gains a healing uh, aspect, but most of it... I should have used those Thread Off spells a lot more in the past. That's uh, one thing I clearly see now as a mistake on my, on my past doings here. So let's sell some loot! Wind's Embrace, I'm not going to use that, personally. I mean, it's a super powerful synergy opener, I do see that. But at the same time, it's uh, gimping me so hard when it doesn't work on out as intended. <laughs> no thanks. So... Red of Water, just some action points and another Hydromancy card. Not that I need that this much, but whatever. Burglass, that's a... Uh, that's a freeze on the next spell. Okay. Yeah, I should pick that up. Because 
it's always nice to not rely on only one type of disable. Right now I'm relying a lot on uh, on stun and sometimes you just in, in, encounter stun moon enemies and uh, bird glass comes in to the rescue there, giving me the ability to stun people. I like that. Or giving the ability to stun people in a different way. I should put it like that. So another thing that I want to cut on lower here is mist. I don't see the big benefit of that. It's two action points for not even that much. Or is it? Well, nah. I still need it. I would need a, a replacement spell for that first. Because it's a little bit, uh, well, it's a little bit of everything I need to keep uh, keep myself alive. But at the same time, the numbers on that spell are so darn low. I need some replacements. So, next level will be on Hydromancy 5. And that will be a pretty important step. So, Ritual Murders. Let's go for another super easy dungeon that's actually not really on my... Uh, on my threat level anymore. This character's run is so weird. Like, it's so damn weird. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting screwed over by the ley lines so massively. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, scout ahead. I can make something cheaper. We're going to make the, uh, Aromancer's ring cheaper because that's giving me... Wait a sec, that would chain as well. There. I don't want to trigger my chain effect there. No thanks. <laughs> oh, I have a campfire on my hand. Oh, nice. Um, well, there aren't too many tasty effects there on my hand that I want to spam on out like that. Yeah, well, we're going to use that like this. So. Yeah, indeed, indeed. I mean, I do see the intention behind all that. I'm just saying that somehow, if you fail all rolls, it gives you just the feeling like, yeah, I did what I could, and I'm still losing. And nobody likes that feeling. And that's why I'm questioning the um, the purpose of that system, you know. If it's basically just pissing you off if you are doing, even though you are technically doing everything right, don't know which things I have overlooked, though, which I could have done instead. So I don't want to be too harsh here, but it surely feels weird sometimes, especially with those locked um, settlements there. Breeze! Hell yeah. This is great. Mine. So uh, those level 4 spells are coming, you know. Oh, I should have paid more attention to that guy. He's so stunning moon. Damn. So we're entering fatigue land now, but there's it's still full of attackers here, so. Well, okay, we're going to get some beating here in that turn, but we're definitely going to survive that. There we go. Sometimes things are effective gameplay wise or working as intended gameplay wise but they're not adding any entertainment to the game that was uh, something and in, in a different game to stray away from Erinorf at this point because we're doing just fine um dungeon crawl stone suit was a game that had a food system once and removed it because it basically was just pissing off people and nothing else. It just added micromanagement and things nobody liked, and in the end, everybody was happier once it was gone. Alright, that's a big one. So we have four people trying to hurt me, two people trying to hurt me, maybe. I love it when they have that maybe flag on their action. Maybe I'm attacking you. Probably. We'll see about that. So, do I have anything to make things cheaper at my disposal? It doesn't look like I do. So, first off, we're going to make sure that this guy... You know, we're going to leave this guy be this guy. DCSS is uh, basically, in my opinion, the best roguelike that I know out of there. The among the classic roguelikes, that is. Because it's fair, it's fun, it's easy to get into. And the keyboard, keyboard bindings are, well, 
it's it's not as horrible as many other games can be. Well, the build variety in DCSS is pretty, well, you have a lot of build variety among the mages, and there's cool hybrid builds. Well, there's a lot going on there. I don't know what what has been developed in the meantime, though. The game's always, uh, always been developed as well. But back to that before I screw myself over. So I'm accepting that guy because he's only doing 2 to 5 damage. Nobody cares about the 2 to 5 damage thing, eh? So, Verglass. We're going to freeze the next dude that we're going to smack. Ugh, it doesn't work with that one. Whatever. Let's freeze that dude. Frost Mage's Cow. Another free spell. Hey, now we're talking. Wind Punch. Well, that didn't go down as intended. So let's see what can we get here. Hey, another stun. Damn. But, uh... Just not lucky with those stun rolls, eh? But that's okay. I think that could have been way worse. And yeah, here, that's, uh... What's a very bad combo? When I put something with a lingering damage effect, it always automatically counters out the disable. And that's what happened to me here. I saw that coming, but I wanted to check on out if it's uh, really working as I thought it would do. That's... <laughs> Whatever. We're going to... A, get a lucky chain in. So, let's see. No, this ain't doing any damage. So... Too bad that I ain't got anything to uh, make my stuff cheaper with. I crafted myself another thread of water. Damn. Hot damn. And a splash. Good, good. We're getting somewhere. What's the main variety factor in the game? Um, the level design is always stellar. There's uh, so many different ways the dungeon can be designed like. And the other thing is... The monsters are, the combat is super fun, and the uh, variety comes from lots of different levels that can have extremely different challenges, and due to the fact that you never loot the same stuff, and there's a lot of different areas that you can play to beat the game, there's just, uh, you know, you can't always play the game a tad bit different. So let's put up the shield here. And let's see. Why are you still attacking me? Ranged effects are if, attacks are ineffective. That's why I why I failed there. I just uh, gimped myself there. Whatever it is as it is. So there we go. Ah, can't do more than that. I think we already do a lot. Mm. The passive damage from those spells is uh, so good. Alright, so scout ahead to make that festering wound at least cheap to play. And the rest is just easy pickings. Should do the healing though when I can. So. Well, can't heal myself there. Have I ever tried Cogmind? Yes, I did, Namel. I actually, I actually always want to get back into that, but uh, there's always something coming between. I'm pretty bad at that game. I find it enchanting in so far as it works so totally different than all the roguelikes that I've played so far. But uh, I, I consequently failed at getting good at the game. But I think that's that's nothing to be ashamed of because as far as I've seen things, Cockmind is pretty hard. So, we're going to focus on these dudes, but let's let's give him a lingering damage effect while we're at it, you know. I'm not playing Mist intentionally here. Oh, uh, wait a sec. Do I get the healing still? Yes. It dispels wet, but whatever. Never was too crazy about this effect. Alright. I could have played Mist at the end of the day still, but... Okay then, so, magic threads. 
what a moment to play some electrostatic shield. Here we go. Some more wetness. Er, well. We don't need to do anything else. This guy's a goner. Well then, er, Lothiel's Firewall, Maeve's Spell Grimoire. All right. Grundle's, no, Arundel's Spells Grimoire. So I can, jeez, you can loot different spells out of these. That's cool. Wow, that's a really, really cool thing. But both of these are not really my elements. We're nevertheless going to pick them up because they're uh, quite costly. So we can make good use of that. Alrighty, so um, I am 20 XP away from my next level up. So let's see where we're going to go for Vanberg. Vanberg has affinities for me, so... I think this is a great place to get it. But let's check on out in Fort first if you can. Pump up my game here a little bit. So no. Don't want to buy another round of work glass. Blacksmith. I'd like to improve one of my items. So Can I upgrade that thing? That cowl that I'm wearing? No? Too bad. Well, I sold away most of these items here already. That's a new feature that I haven't played around with a lot. Okay. I'd like to buy some ingots, all right. Well, not really what I was looking for, but we're going to go. Okay, there's a lot of fun around there. Well, there's only one freaking dungeon at Mist Holt that I can do. They really don't like my build here, eh? So let's see if Van Berg has anything in store for me. I'd be buying any threat of anything. No, they don't, but let's uh, get ourselves some rations so we don't get ourselves into any uncomfortable situation again. Okay, let's go. Oof. All right. Let's see. Do I have any cost reducers? Yes, I have. Let's make it rain. I mean, good news is nobody really wants to hurt me here. Could be worse. So, Ice Ball, Ray of Frost. And, oh, I just wanted to leave that Electrocute to finish him off, but I'll take that as well, no problem. So, I don't care about this dude stealing some of my money, because I'm stacked right now. Let's uh, start and ignite that fella here, why not? And let's see, what do we get here spell-wise? Another thread of water. Nice. I like that one so much. So we're going to Frost Ray. But now we're in Fatigue Land, so... Gotta be careful with my next actions. Actually, as a matter of fact, no more actions. It's fine, as it is. Oh, this guy goes on attack. I hate it when they do that. I seriously hate it so much when they do that. This is, uh, well, but this is foreseeable. This was because of the Benefactor flank. The Benefactor flank made it happen that the other dudes were like, oh, I don't need to flank anymore, and then they were punching. So whenever you see somebody Benefactor flanking, be smarter than me. So. Well, well, we're going to hurt them for this insolence, don't we? So, some nice electrocution. We have two attackers that we need to take care of. Nobody of them is uh, stun-resistant or anything. Oh, it, it, there's three attackers, I'm sorry. 
So let's start on out and raise one of them. Try to stun one of them. <laughs> All right. So if you can't kill them, you can lower their damage. Gotta say, this is a very, very uh, crappy situation to be in, nevertheless. Oh, I have another stun available. Awesome. There we go. That's what I like to see. And we can even ignite him. Way to go. Alright. So, dude's still frozen. That's uh, the awesome part of uh, putting up several stacks of freezing there. Just accept that he's surviving yet another turn. I mean, this guy surviving another turn also means that I get the opportunity to play my healing effects level another up. turn. And, well, regenerate action points, I wanted to say. But I can also just level up. That's working as well. So, Hydromancy and, Py and Aromancy finally at level 5. That's amazing. This means our Thread of Water spell has now its hidden potential fulfilled. Arcane Might, so fatigue comes faster. Seriously? Nah. Why should I take that? Wind's Embrace, so multicast actions and strain actions are so... Ooh. <laughs> Disciplined. Er, fatigue comes slower again. Very, very uh, appealing. Spirited, something for those allies. Aeneas, somebody for... Aero-Geo combos. Okay. Whoever plays that. Mm, what I want to do now is I want to go on over here. So, let's see. I want to have Dainty. Because that's action points, agility. Oh, well, charisma ain't that important, but whatever. So, athletic. So, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm grabbing those darned cheap attribute points here that you can get are basically free you know there's just so few costs and so low costs tier to that so winds embrace yeah no what does the air elemental do so it's a heavy strain thing comes with a multicast stun spell though whoa all right dude that's heavy but the problem there is this thing comes with a uh, with a strain on us. So, what's the water servant doing? Also, strain comes with defend. Ice nova comes with a greater freeze spell. Mm, also, pretty tasty. How far does that go? Well, let's get ourselves some elemental servant. You know what kind of uh, elementalist am I without a servant at my side? Eh? I think that it's just very, very fitting to the whole scheme. Okay, then. Let's see. Progression. I have gained another... I gained three challenges. That's another five action points buffer more. Two learning points extra. Accessory schematic. Hmm. Cool stuff. So here, let's do the same thing here for that thing. Oh, I cannot do this here. Oh, whatever. Good old, let's keep going. So, we got two lock trappers. One bleeding strike, one thief. The lock trappers are really, really concerning. So, let's see, is anybody immune against heart CC? No, nobody. Alright, so that's at least one good thing to note. So let's get started with some magic strains and some rain. good -o. So now we can freeze that guy. Let's give him some water too. 
Oh, I have even more cost reducers, so we can just go for whatever we want to. Well, flash ain't that much of a brilliant idea here. So, now it's better. Alright, flash and frost ray that thing. This is bad. So can I draw anything? Oh dear, I need to cut these out of my... Uh... Ugh, jeez. Alright, that's really naughty to... So, yeah, sadly I wasn't able to stop the lock trapping, but whatever. Oh, I was. Ha, beautiful. Goodo, lock traps are just killing your, your action points like crazy. In case you're wondering why I was uh, trying to avoid that like crazy. And I got fatigue? Ah, this must be the melody this guy uh, slapped on me with a poison blade. Bad. It's really bad. Ugh. Whatever. We're going to get that done, don't we? Mm. Let's clap out one... Just a little bit of damage. Just to uh, get rid of these guys, you know? This turn, all my actions are extra costy. So, I'm actually... Trying to cut my total amount of actions as low as possible. I'm also poisoned. I really need to put up these spells that heal me. Alright, I just uh, didn't realize that I was envenomed. Whatever, whatever. I got the heals. Doesn't matter. Let's go for the electrostatic shield here while I'm at it. Alright, so... Still poisoned, but uh, we got Clay Dragonhorn as our enemy here, so it's all gonna be fine. So I have one automatic chain when I start a turn. Impede. Oh, I want to keep that for now. Let's use Mist, Preparation, Frost Mage Cow. Oh boy. Can make it wet. That's good. So, just trying to uh, snip away those minions first. Yay! Quick draw! No. Whenever you play cards with quick draw, this turn strain minus one. So that's how it's supposed to work, hey? Whatever. Oh, crap. I had that lingering damage effect on him, didn't I? So. Almost got me killed. Okay. Not gonna use the electrostatic shield at this point, because it's actually wiser not to do so. Well, alright, now I can't do He's not attacking me anymore, so... I'm even cancelling out the water effect right now to make sure bad. Oh boy, what a good last action. To make sure that I get the healing. I was a little bit scared, okay? <laughs> so, Sapphire Ring. No thanks. Aromancer Drop. Whoa, okay, never mind. This is actually quite a, quite a nice item. So, another rain spell? Lightning Infused Bow. I want! Damn, I wish I had marksmanship. Cool. So. Yeah, that's mine. Thank you. Hyperspeed. Ah, I see. So, quick draw and lightning. Now, now it does make start to make sense, so... Ice Rain, Multicast. Oh yeah, this is lovely. I wish I would have been able to pick the regular um, rain spell as well, but uh, 
one thing at a time. Dead Man's Chest. So I'm level five, and uh, well, I'm I'm not convinced that I'm strong enough yet for for such a for such a test there. Let's see, Land Veil. Land Veil at least has the right uh, affinities there. Haunted Lighthouse. Spiderwood Mine. Oh yeah. What would a Spiderwood Mine do? Let's do this. I've never this been adventuring terrible. down here, so it's quite exciting for me to be here. Oh no, Inquisitors. So, let's get this down. First off, let's go and make it rain. Then, we're going to put up magic threads and get up a lightning strike. Bam. 28 damage. Not bad, man. Then, frost rays. Also quite nice there. And one electrocute for you, kind sir. Then, bird glass. And does bird glass work with freeze now? Uh, with, with mist? Yeah, just like I thought. There we go. Well, I got some sick spells there in the last uh, couple of minutes. That's for sure. Got some. I'm racking up more and more ways to to get the the water effect on my enemies. So that guy's a goner. Oh boy, loot! Yeah, another lizard. Yum. If life goes bad, you gotta chew a lizard. So, who wanted to attack me again? There we go. So, let's enter that spiderwood mine. It's again a quite ridiculous dungeon, but this is a uh, this is one weird run. This is basically one of the weirdest runs that I've ever had because it's, to some degree I feel quite powerful, but then again I I feel totally weak. Strain minus six by now. Holy crap! That's uh, because of the aromancy, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. So, this is, uh... <laughs> Should craft ourselves some spells and check out that we always try to put up the costiest stuff as possible. So... Here we go, Strong Gust. This is an amazing spell. And we can't play it totally for free now. Cool stuff, man. So, this one comes with a done also let's just make sure we're uh, we're getting some damage down here yeah whatever I got enough uh, I got enough everything it's just one dude flapping the air so it's finally coming to a point where I feel no longer like uh, like a peon. <laughs> so, oh boy, this place ain't good for my ley lines, is it? Have I taken the entirely wrong t turn? Hey, damn! This if this area here is if is especially bad for me. I thought it was especially good for me. Oh crap. Yeah, well, luckily it's a it's an especially easy dungeon, so we shouldn't get ourselves into too deep trouble though, but boy oh boy, this can backfire if you don't pay attention there. There we go. But at the same time, I'm by now that strong that I really don't feel too worried about the situation as it is. There we 
we go. So. I love it that I have so many spells that are totally working like, yeah, cast me on an ally or discard me and hurt your enemies. That's, that's really cool. I like that a lot. So, I'm gonna keep that rain spell for another occasion because I really feel like that's, uh, that would be just, uh, it's better used in the next combat, you know. Jeez, I, my damage is so bad right now. Anyways, doesn't matter. We're getting there. My favorite class race, oof, ought to tell. I've had such good times with, uh, <laughs> with all, with, with basically everything that I picked up and uh, started to understand was a blast after a while. Couple of things I didn't fully understand yet, so I haven't had as much of a good time there as well, but uh, get the idea. So we have now two. Oh, two elementals there. Awesome. They can stun, you know? They are living stuns, basically. Right on. I'm not using them too much, though, but uh, just in case you were wondering why the hell I didn't keep them with me, then. So. Luckily, I have enough effects that make the damage go up quite nicely as long as the enemy is wet and the like, so... There we go. This dude wants to attack. So, let's have some fun with that. Whenever the air elementals attack, they stun to random people on the map or in the combat. I like that so much. So let's do something nifty here. Let's stun and freeze the guy at the same time. He was only vulnerable to freeze. So. Good thing that I put up both guns, eh? So, right now I'm just, um, just uh, right-clicking spells at random to kill the enemy. Something you should basically never do, but... Uh, Right now, it's there's just not much uh, challenge on all that. So, single combat means they're attacking one of my minions. Actually, I don't care at all. It sounds a little bit harsh, I know, but, you know, at the end of the day, little do I care if he's clapping down one of these uh, elementals there. I'm not going to miss them right now. So, we're going to put the wet effect, nevertheless, on the boss. Because the boss will be the dude we're, we're going to fight, oopsie, um, for a longer period of time. Oh no, immunity against burning, how dare they. So. Oh wow. Interesting. So, we got this. We got this. So far, so easy. And now let's uh, let's start clobbering that dude. Hibernate. No, no thanks. So well, if I can get all my spells basically for free, yeah, why not? So. Here he's attacking again my minions, I don't care about that too much. So yeah, we're uh, we're doing just fine, I'd say. I just want a, a, a better amulet by time. This thing's just not cutting it. So, Thread of Air gives the next spell I create a replicate chance, and I... And, and most importantly, it gives me a lot of cards. And that's just really, really good. Good oh. So uh yeah, well Miner's Camp, what can I do here? Talk with a local trader and buy rations. Great, I guess. 
So, Misthold. Um, well, since I'm just around the corner, I might as well do the adventure here, don't I? So we're uh, grinding up our, our levels this way. Because it's just so darn helpful to do so. Okay, so, Lock Trappers. Lock Trappers. I don't like Lock Trappers. Oh boy, that's uh, something worth mentioning as well. Um, I just had too many cards in my hand, so I wasn't able to draw a new card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the point when your deck goes too well at what it's doing. All right. Nah, electrokinesis is not worth it at this point. Because it's, it's, it ain't gonna trigger with a weapon. Those signatures, they somehow don't trigger with weapons as far as I know. And, uh, therefore, wouldn't be working. Alright, for 10 gold we can get rid of that enemy here. So, let's make our next spell cheap. Yeah, well. This is, all in all, a pretty easy, um encounter here, so. Although, I gotta say, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed about the amount of uh, of rain spells that I see. I almost got no effects to make me to make the enemy wet. There we go. Get drenched, my boy. There we go. So, let's get rid of that dude. Oh, he's... Uh, resistant against ranged attacks. My bad. So, bring up the air elemental here. To acknowledge. Free card. Oh, yeah. Finally the rain that I wanted. Nice. And uh, one air elemental to go. Well, next uh, turn, I'll have a little bit low action points, but I have this wonderful little fella here. It's going to help me out a lot. Okay, one trapper, one bleeding strike, and the rest is just uh, not worth mentioning. Alrighty. So, let's get ourselves some cards. Mm, sadly, nothing to make to spread water with, but whatever. Oh, I have one wet spell. Hmm. So we could use that here, right? Good stuff. Okay, I'm I'm quite low on on everything here, action point wise. So I'm going to cut it lower here a bit. So let's see. We have four people attacking, but that should be really no problem at all. Oh boy. By now, things are working out a lot better than uh, when I was starting out, but, uh, well. I guess that's what, what's supposed to happen after a while. Yeah. Let's do it like that. Kyle Thorn. Okay. And a couple of uh, weaklings. So, one more magic threads. Let's use that for the electrostatic shield. It's, uh, it's a very cool feeling when you get a super costy spill basically down for free. That's really, really cool. Okay. So I'm I don't have too much uh, too many action points right now, so let's respect that. But it was more than enough to blast this guy out of existence. Wonderful. Okay, here, ice rain. I want that. Did I didn't I add that into my deck already? 
I gotta check that out. Celestial Fragment. No thanks. Daze. Well, that's a better stun. Show and tell. Choose from up to two hy Hydromancy cards. Well, it is another one of these scenarios where I think the best choice I can go for is just to pick the costiest card. Seriously, didn't I? Did I forget to? Oh, I must have stashed that. Damn. Okay, so that's where I'm going to drop the ball for today. We're going to continue the adventures of this fine lady another time. I thank everybody hanging on out here for the mighty good company, and see you all next time. Drop me a comment down below, leave me a thumbs up on that video if you enjoyed, and of course, consider subscribing. There's more stuff like that coming on up in the future. And as always, see you guys next time.